It is so fun to see everyday items turned into fabulous embellishments. And we have some fun ones today. Stylish sticks, which are really fancy drinking straws. Very fancy. <laughs> Flattened bottle caps, which are much cuter than they sound. <laughs> and colorful borders to tie them all together. Right. We're going to show you some fun things to do with them. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Well, here are just some of them. Well, I've got bottle caps here in lots of colors, lots of patterns. Very fun. Great. We have stylish sticks, and we have lots more patterns than this, and we'll show you a few more in a minute. And then borders that come in sets of three. So I'm going to scoot these over, and we'll bring them in as we show you each of the goodies. Okay. And lots of goodies to show. Okay. We'll bring in our We're first. Gonna start with this one. And this is using the um, white truffle die cuts, which is, I think this is just absolutely beautiful. It is, and it's, it's been inked a little bit, but some added to it. And here's one of our first bottle caps, the right. flattened bottle cap. And this is black. It comes in black, silver, and copper. And the, uh, the black on all of them, actually, you can do one side or the other, and you've got an example. Right. These are some of the other colors and patterns. And what it actually is is, so there's that bottle cap that's been flattened down till it's about an eighth of an inch or less thick. And what you can put on them and is... That. There's that side. There's the, yeah. This one has been, this side has been used. Right, it's the upside down. And then these epoxy stickers have simply been placed inside the bottle cap and then placed on this gorgeous, gorgeous tag. Yeah. So it's a beautiful way to use it. And the uh, epoxy measures an inch. And so you can see the bottle cap is just slightly larger. And you right. have another one? Yes, over here we have a necklace that's been done. This is a great piece of jewelry with one of the with one of these bottle caps. Yeah, this caps, is the copper. The copper bottle cap. And, and there's that epoxy fits right in there. The photo right. is already on there, the artwork anyway. And you may have seen this kind of art. It's really kind of fun. They're vintage photos with, with little pieces of uh, typewriting uh, placed on them. And it's just, it's a really fun look. And it it's, is. It's unique. I love it. And there's a little key charm right up right. above it too, which is just placed on one of those ball chains. So cute. Well, there's a little right. dazzle right there. <laughs> and you can also get the, the bottle caps in an assorted of colors, you know, bright colors. So that's fun. Oh, that's super fun. I love all the bright colors. Now we're going to bring in our bottle cap, and this starts our pattern. So we have orange, we have pink, we have green, we have purple, we have black. black. And that's just the bottle cap. Yeah. <laughs> and they're in this dotted pattern. So if we can get in close here. It's a, it's like a, is it dotted or is it crossed? Yeah, it is. It's, it's dotted. It's polka dots yeah. all over. And this one has been stamped on with tiny little star stamps. And you have to make sure that you use stays on ink when you do that right. because that's the kind of surface. And you know, I on. would not have ever actually thought of stamping in it because I would have thought that this edge would have stopped me, but evidently not. Right. Now, if you use a small stamp, it's yeah. going to fit in there. Now, when I look at the bottle caps, the first thing I want to do is put something in them. <laughs> well, back up <laughs> just a little bit. So you can see how these um, stylish stick is what uh, Wendy at Queen calls them. These are the floral patterns. And just simply cutting them at different lengths and putting papers in between them right. just works so nicely. This is the easiest use of them. You just <laughs> zot them on or glue them on, the, the, the number of different ways of putting them on there. Pop a bottle cap on top and it right. looks like a flower or a sun. And you do want to attach the bottle caps. They are not self-adhesive because you can use either side. So, of right. course, they're not self-adhesive. This is great on the Happy Days papers. The, the colors cute? just fit in perfectly. And on the inside. Another, there's an example of one uh, also inked with that little heart. It's your day. It's your day. So it's very sweet. Yeah. Now, the um, doll stamps have Ooh, been this wildly popular. And I thought it was very fun that Erica had her very large stamp leaning against one of the stylish it's sticks. One of those, yeah, it's just sitting there. She hasn't, you didn't have to do anything to that straw, uh, stylish sticks. It's just Hi. sitting there. But this is so cute. And then 
and stamped with the doll stamp and cut out and then use Spectrum Noir to color it in. Right. Now on the back side of this card, um, Erica decided to do uh, several little favors. So we'll get in close so you can see. So she made a pocket, as you can see. There's more of the sticks. She's got some dazzles on uh, those. I hadn't seen, noticed those before, so they're all yeah. wiggly on the flowers. Oh, and a circle, and fun to cut the stars like this at an angle. So you're going to show right. that? Okay. So, so it's real simple. First of all, I'm going to show you when you cut your stylish sticks, you can cut a straight cut just like that. And it's real easy. And they're going to flatten out a little bit when you cut them, but they'll pop right back up. You can just grab it and pop okay. it back up like that, back into that little uh, rounded straw shape. But you can also cut it at an angle, which is what Erica did to get a neat little shape like that. I'm, right. I'm going to pop it back up by by squishing it a little bit, right. and there you go. And that's what she did to make this little rosette right, right there. Good mm -hmm. deal. You can take the uh, tiny tags and little labels and make a little top for it, or the 3D rose template and make uh, a rose on it. So just lots that's of great. variety for these great. little guys. And you can pull those out and use them in a drink or something. <laughs> <laughs> so or just fun, fun favors. I think right. they'd also be fun uh, popped into a uh, cupcake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So That's a great idea. That would be good. Yeah, I like it. This one I had just noticed has tiny little, uh, tiny yeah, the little dazzles. dazzles on the straw, which fact, I hadn't noticed. Let's get in and see those. So as you're That's so going cute. around, you can see those That's little fun. bits of shine. Very fun. I, I think I'd enlist my kids to do that job. Do you think so? Yep. Okay. Here you go. Here is <laughs> something that I think is just so clever because it incorporates many things, but it gives a distinctively different look. So you've got you've got the straw, the stylus sticks, and they're in all these different patterns. Yeah. So these me, are the sh oh yeah. Let me bring ahead. in the stripes. There we go. These are the stripes in all of those colors. You saw the flowers before. This is the chevron. The chevron. Certainly don't want to take anything away. And there are also some dots. So you know, there you go. <laughs> But what I also thought was so clever is inside the bottle caps are the pearl blooms. They fit perfectly. They do. They just, this that one <laughs> inch, and they just pop right in there. You And these are self-adhesive, right. so you can just stick them in. And you could put right. it on the, you could put something on the back if it didn't fit inside of the, um, the flattened bottle cap as but well. But it does fit, yeah. But it does fit. And on some of the stylish sticks, I took the white stitch uh, dazzles oh, and added right down okay. the center of them, tied some bows on to some of them, and there's a little bit of vine ribbon that I used for oh. leaves on there. And down at the bottom, those borders are just very effectively used to create our flower box. So right. blue one at the back. Now, the way that these come is that there are three uh, 12 inch links per package and in the same color so that's the blue selection and the green and of course you use the blue behind the blue behind the green in front and they yeah. are self-adhesive so you can just oh plop I didn't them right realize on. that okay. I put a little foam tape underneath this one to right. stand it up a little bit so very fun I love the pennant coming out I think that's a great look and this is done on the picnic paper pack now, on the inside, you have flattened these puppies. I have flattened them. <laughs> There's a couple of different ways to do that. I'm going to show you the first way, which is real simple. You take a bone folder and you just press down. Press down both okay. ways like that. Now, if this is a little difficult for someone, if you happen to have a die cutting machine, right. you can put a straw right into the die cutting machine between layers just like you would put any die cut and, and just run it through. Thank you, Teresa, for coming up with that quick and easy yes. way to go. So very fun. Get well. This could be happy birthday, uh, graduation. I mean, just, just anything. so it's many things. things. You see these little dots right there? Uh-huh. Those come out of the border. <laughs> <laughs> of course bit. they and do. And they're self adhesive, so they just stick right on. <laughs> it's cute. Very, very cute. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, here is another card going with the black and white and using some dazzles on the inside. So it looks like these are about a three quarter inch punch. That's what it looks like. We'll get right. in close and some see dazzles. that. This is great because this is, this is so striking. And there yeah. are straws and bottle caps. Right. Okay. <laughs> A little bit, uh, well, not only the red paper, but also the red jewel dazzles in the flowers. There's the companion border. 
great fr best friend. And it's just a real classy look. And I there's not that. an inside, so I can't show you. I do like the ribbons being used on the and uh, stylish right. stamp. And it's, and it's huge. It just it sort of ex does the expanse yeah. of the card. I like that look. Really nice. Well, here is another combination. You know, when you see something, uh, okay, we know what straws are, but how to use them in, in paper crafting. Right. Uh, the more ideas, as far as I'm concerned, the better. And, uh, it's kind of funny. You get a package of, stra of straws, basically, mm -hmm. and you're, what am I going to do with this? But <laughs> once you start playing with them, all but I of like these them. Ideas, yeah, <laughs> I like them. And all of these ideas come up, and then you start calling them stylish sticks right. instead, because that's what. They oh, are. and we have been informed by Queen is that these are you could use them as straws. They are FDA approved ink, so right. no worries They're there. They're non-toxic. Right. So here we have another just, you know, sunbeam going. Uh, so the, the an angle, angle cut, mm -hmm. an angle cut on the ends, and then you can just zot them or glue them down right. and just pop your bottle cap on top. And it's interesting because these, this is two different companies. So Queen is doing the pearls and the borders and the stylish sticks, but Bottle Caps Inc. is doing the flattened bottle caps, and the mm -hmm. colors work perfectly. They match I mean, exactly. wow. Or even the, the borders as well, yeah. Right. So this is a border up at the top. And so I like that banner. The dazzles mm -hmm. with Happy Birthday. Mm -hmm. So Happy actually comes as one piece, so and it's been, it's cut, been apart. cut apart to put right. on uh, just an easy thing to do. Fun little pennant right there. I like the matting that, that you can see the white around uh, there. It makes everything stand out a little better. It's a well, nice technique. Well, the other thing it does is because the border has white and the stylish sticks has white and the bottle cap. So you want to have some white somewhere else right. on your project. So Ride to have it together. Yeah, have it on the borders. Now, scrapbookers, we do not forget you. So here we go with a whole page just using lots of different things. So, so this is on the Happy Days paper pack, which fits right in. I love these bottle cap balloons. Isn't that fun? That's great. And we've got some dazzles, dazzles just giving them more them polka down. dots. Right. Some, some ba baker's uh -huh. twine tied down to our little bicycle dazzle. That's the bi spikes and baskets. And then look at the candles. I think this is brilliant. So they're just coming up. A little piece of baker's twine is going to be the flame. Wanted to add a dazzle behind it just to give a little bit of shine to it. Yeah, this is great. And down at the Very, bottom, oh, the, yeah. the bicycle is going along one of the <laughs> self-adhesive borders. Very fun. So if you're a scrapbooker, this is perfect for, this is a birthday, but certainly you could use this as a page. We'll back up a little bit just to see the whole thing. Of, for, for just a day, just right. an event or a, a summer day. Right. Like yeah. And uh, if you're like my youngest son, he rides a bicycle while his girlfriend runs marathons. Oh. So, you know, this could be for Adam and Gypsy. So, Does he carry balloons with him? I am not sure, but if she would like them, he would do that. Here is a very fun little mini book. Now, um, this, as you can see, so we've got the flower bottle caps. We've got a little stamp in the middle. You are such a gift. So they're stacked on top. We've just got one layer of bottle caps down below, and then right. one is stacked on top with of them. And these are pockets made out of envelopes. envelopes. Right. Yeah. These are our regular uh, envelopes that fit our five by six and a half cards. On the inside of each, there is a just a little uh, paper that's been backed on cardstock. So you could put photographs here. You could put. Uh, you know, if this is for a birthday gift, you could put right. uh, coupons. You could or... use this for saving mementos. For, right. Um, maybe a young girl wants to save things in a little book, a keepsake book. What, what I'm noticing on the edge yeah. is that stylish stick yeah. has been used. Right. Okay. It has become the binding. So right. what um, Erica did is that she did these three envelopes. Right. And you can see Decorate. how they've been decorated. And then um, she's used baker's twine to go uh, to slip through each of the envelopes. So right at the top and right out the, the bottom. And so I'm I'm going to say that before she closed this envelope, right. she put a piece of twine there. Then she sealed the envelope. Right. So there you've got that twine running through. And then cut the top. And away. then the twine goes through the straw linked at the top, right. tied off at the top. And I'm going to say that was a design tool used to do that probably. I think you're right. Yeah. So very fun. So we've got the bottle caps 
and we have some of the um, borders, so more stylish sticks, sticks here, holding that pennant up. Lots of dazzles decorating and down at the bottom. border dazzles. So you can make it, dazzles. yeah, you can make it pretty simple, but it's a very inexpensive gift that you can put together very yeah. easily. Oh, that's a fun one. I like the now, bright colors. Oh, that's on Penelope. It is on Penelope. Okay, look. <laughs> at this. Hmm. This is drop dead gorgeous as far as I'm <laughs> concerned. And um, we have a watch that we've made. Yes, we have made this out of stylish sticks and a flattened bottle cap and something else. And suede. Right. And, and holographic. our new holographic gold holographic ripple, which is just, I've been enjoying using that on just about everything. And this oh, is great. out of the geometric paper. So the geometric paper pack, and we've got jewel dazzles and something else that's new on here. Right. Our digital downloads. Right. Now before we get to that, okay. I just want to make sure I show you the inside of the card because this is lovely. So this piece, this clock, as well as this clock. The clock on the front was all, and, and the words. And the words on the bottom, not on the top. This okay. was computer generated. Okay. But those were all from the digital downloads. Okay, now we will have some videos on how to use the digital downloads. We have them for scrapbooking papers, we have them for stamps, we have them for cutting dies, and then also cutting dies and stamps together. Right. So this but is... Just to give you <laughs> kind of a preview of what that might look like, when you go to uh, look for this online, you're going to see something like this so that you can make your selection. And this is just one of the things. It's called Timeless Stamp Set. And so here's all the images you get. And then our very own Christina has done a couple of ideas for you. Of how you might use them. Because right. these can be, because they are digital, they can be manipulated on your computer. Right. You can change the color, the size, and you can do them individually. So these, each of these will come as an individual file for you to use. So for instance, this um, clock has been turned into this size, right? and the hands, which are individually done here, you placed and it's I cut painted, out. I cut right. out and placed. Now that's not something that you have to do. You can right. draw them on. You can even, if you're uh, pretty good on the computer, you can move those images around on top of your clock okay. and print them together. And there's the word timeless, but you've really exploded that onto your card. Right. So and on the inside, I've got to show you the, on uh -huh. the inside, we, we showed it, but here's that image right down here. Right. So I was able to put that on my computer on a Word document and well, just blow it up a little bit. Let's go through just very briefly what you're going to see. Just a little bit of <laughs> when you're online, This is a. these are screenshots of what you actually see online. So here's the paper wishes up at the top. And when you order it, when you pay for it, you're going to come down to this last page where it says your e-product is ready for download. So you get it immediately when you pay for it. You don't mm -hmm. have to wait. And then you just click on here. It's going to download the files. And it will look like this. It will look like That's that. the first thing you see. Then you'll click on that. And then you'll see this. You're going to save it somewhere on your computer. You're going to choose on where your you're going to on your desktop, on your wherever you want to put it in a folder. And you're going to get two things. Right. You're going to get a folder full of JPEG files, those are JPG, and PNG files. The so JPEG or PNG files. Right. If you're not familiar with that, a JPEG file is one where the image is actually going to be transparent. You can see through it's, it. You can. It's going it to be on, on a transparent layer. A transparent right. layer. So you can print it on patterned paper right. and you'll still be able to see the pattern, exactly. etc. The PNG files will not do that. They'll have a white box around it, which will cover up wherever which you put them Which is fine on. if you put them on white paper or you want a border right. around it. So when you then, go into those files, <laughs> you'll be able to individually Usually pick each of these images. Now this is what's called a contact sheet. It has all of the images at a certain size, but then you can open each individual image and uh, right. size it if you want. Or The actual contact sheet is, if you were to click on this, everything comes together. Right. But there is each file in that folder where you can pick each of these individually and you can resize them. You can make them larger, smaller, right. especially if you insert them on a Word document as a photo. That is okay. the best way to manipulate them. So that's, that's a brief course of Very doing good. that. But here is an end result that you can have. I also want to note that 
for the bottle cap and mm -hmm. for the stylish sticks, I rolled them and uh, covered them with Stazon metallic silver. Right. So, so that was actually a really easy proce process. You just take one of those straws and roll it back and forth across right. the pad or take a cosmetic sponge and ink the bottle cap. And you even added gold jewel dazzles, I, I see. And so, I put a piece of acetate. If oh, you can sort of turn a little bit, maybe yes. see that on top of the, the so it looks printed like, out image of the clock. So looks it looks like, like the crystal. Watch. It looks like the crystal, doesn't yeah. it? Very I'm thinking fun. it's a Rolex. I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that you can make Rolexes out of stylish sticks, <laughs> out of bottle caps, and all of these very, very fun products. Have so, fun. Yes. <laughs>